So people fear that AI might replace human thought, but you suggest that it's more like assisted intelligence rather than artificial intelligence. Can you say more about that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, w when we think about artificial intelligence, it's is this mm, fear-inducing word, artificial intelligence, right? But um, when you work with models like the GPT models, it's more about assisting your own brain. Uh, you can brainstorm better. Creative people can get more creative. They can come up with new ideas. Um, knowledge workers can, you know, ca they, they never face a blank sheet, you know. Yeah. And um, all of these, all of these, they are um, helping you only if you know what you want to do mm. right. So imagine your brain is thinking on the topic, you're prompting the AI and you're having this like second brain kind of, yeah. which is um, helping you have more thoughts, sometimes better thoughts and so on. So in this regard, I, I really like saying, you know, don't think about GPT models as artificial intelligence. It's assisted intelligence and it's assisting the prompter. So it's more like it cannot think of its own it always needs a human prompter well that's a very deep that's question a, okay okay can you it can think i don't think so <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't think uh, but um but of course it needs to be prompted and and prompt is a very good word because prompt is like um i'm prompting you to do something i'm 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 g like poking I'm you i'm giving you a way. direction yes in which exactly you have to go. i'm prompting you to do something mm. so that's why um like it can't think on its own. It needs to be poked by us, prompted by us. So it um, comes up with an answer. 